G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today's video is about the Helicon 6 Possum Waste Pack. First of all, we'll look at the specifications. The weight is 180 grams. Your minimum waist for the belt to fit you is 81 centimeters and your maximum waist fitting is 117 centimeters. It's nice and comfortable on the front, even though I've got a little bit of a belly. Easy access to it, to get to the zips. Go to there, get it this way. Now the one behind is going to be difficult. I think really you'd have to take the pack off to get the one behind. But it also sits because of the size really nice on the hip here. And you've got the access to the Molly, the double one here, the two. I have fitted the mini med kit on there to check it. And I also fitted the uh, Bushcraft dump pouch, which went nice and you still had access to the side zip dimensions 22 centimeters by 13 by 7 centimeters capacity is 1.5 liters and it's made out of a Cordura nylon fabric so we'll go with the belt first as we've mentioned that nice rudin buckles on it a bit stiff at the moment but you know but open okay Good strong click on them. On the opposite side, there's no buckle, but what there is, let's get to it. A bit awkward with the material there. A little hook. And that means you can just simply unhook it. Now we'll take the belt off. And that's it done. Now with the belt off, we have this behind. You could have tucked your belt in there and had it all in one, but that way you actually end up losing some of your webbing and we, I don't want to do that. So I've got one of my belts down here, but it measures, where we are, 45 millimeters in depth there. So not, off, not far off two inches. So you don't have to always use the belt that comes with it to wear this. You can just put your belt behind. And that's it, we can wear that now. It's on our back, our side. And then you're not having to use your waist belt. That actually looks like it's big enough for a good two and a half inches belt fits with there. So that'll fit most of your actual military belts or your bushcraft belts or normal pants belts. Now before we start looking at the front of it, we've got this one hidden pocket on the back. So when you're wearing that, that's up against you. This here, the pull, is made out of a power cord and it's got like a shrink wrap on it to make it look neat, decent, nice, neat and tidy. One thing I have noticed is if you're moving this around to get it comfortable, that will stick in you. But once you get in position and you lift it up out your way, you don't notice it's there. So this pocket is opened with a YKK zipper and that's all we got. It's just a single pocket. And in there you can keep your small hiker's wallet, some 
cash notes, your cards. The actual pocket comes up to the top. So the whole space from here is pocket area. And like I said, the zippers are YKK. As most people know, the YKK zippers are decent kip, uh, zippers. I nearly said kippers then. So you've got your YKK zippers, your Rujin buckles and the Cordura fabric. So it's all made out of some really decent uh, materials. We've got a double molly webbing on each side. Now, I was a bit worried that having that there, you wouldn't fit much on it and it'd be in the way and it'd be whatever you put on here it would make it difficult opening your main section but I put the mini med kit which is a double molly uh, strap and I went through there it covered just up to the zip so to get the zip in you have to just push between the two but there was plenty of room to get between the two and open the zip and on this side I put a little helicon ticks compass emergency pouch on the back one here and we had plenty of room at the front here so that could have actually fitted on the front with ease when I actually wore this that actually sat nice on me and had easy access with the pouches on there they didn't get in the way and I was surprised at how comfortably they fitted me now going into the front pocket here on the front we've got the actual hook and loop yeah velcro and you've got the helicontex logo on it the pocket is just a single pocket no dividers in there the area that pocket actually takes up that's usable is just follow it all the way around where it's stitched uh, up the top above the zip as well because that flap lips lifts up and you can tuck anything you want underneath there so you've got a pretty good area and this zipper also has got the weather protector on it so help reduce any water going in there and it'll help uh, stop any dust or dirt getting in there now these zips are not waterproof they're water resistant they just reduce uh, the severity of water getting in then a main pouch in the middle or a main pocket you've got a double zipper on it so you can put your zip to either side, you can have it positioned at the top or on the corner, wherever you prefer. Again, that's got that uh, weather strip on it to help prevent water getting in there and also stop all the dirt and dust getting into whatever you've got inside your pocket. Okay, again, all zippers are YKK zippers. They've got this shrink wrap and paracord. So Good size, so even wearing gloves, you're going to be able to get hold of that, open and close it. Now, the main part of this pack or actually opens up like a clamshell. It zips almost all the way around and it folds open like that. Now, just to give you an idea, I've got plenty of room in there with the zips done up. I've got three compression bandages and they're the 10 centimeter ones by four meter, which is my snake or part of my snake bike kit. And a, a lot more room in there to be able to use. And also what we've got at the front, we've got a mesh pocket. And in here is the other part of my snake bike kit, which is a full size triangular bandage. <coughs> Excuse me. No shrink wrap on the zipper pull here. It's just paracord. Again, the YKK zippers. The actual area is where you can see all of the mesh coming to the top, down the sides, and the bottom. It's the whole pocket. So there's not no actual space lost. So they're giving you as much room in this. On the opposite side, this is your organizer side, if you want to call it that. We've got some elasticated webbing coming across to hold your gear in position and in place. 
and that's divided into five. We've got either end one are the same size. Then we've got two small ones here, like fitting a, a, a AA battery size into it, or bullet size. And then we've got a slightly larger one here, so you can keep your multi-tool. Behind that, we've got two smaller pockets, which go halfway. And then behind that one, a little bit taller, and the full width, going completely to the bottom again, is a larger pocket. And above that, we've got a small power cord loop, so you can connect your keys to there, your compass, your emergency whistle, anything you don't want to lose. That would be nice and secure. Putting together wise is very good quality. And before that, you can see the bottom, that's the space you've got storage inside your pouch. So that is, that's, that's just seven centimeters easy, maybe a little bit more. And it goes in slightly at the ends, a bit like a mummy, but that's just to keep the shape and comfort. <clears throat> and let's start again on the actual construction of it, material wise. Very good material, buckles wise, zips wise, some very good quality uh, material uh, it's been made out of. Stitching wise, really good stitching. And there is one point where, where is it? It's, it's so minor. I just think it's where these go underneath. It's a little bit, oh, oh here it is here. Where that goes inside, there's a hole on both sides, but there's not much they can do about that because the actual stitching comes in here, that stitches and that goes inside. But that's the only little thing I've found with this one and that's the first time I've ever seen anything like this on the Helicon Tex. But the actual stitching does go all the way down and that's just tucked in there. So it's not gonna come apart. Comfort wise, like I said, I was surprised about it. It sits comfortable, the shape is decent, the design is really good. And the actual webbing on the side, like I said, is not for show. It's actually usable. So that's all I can say about the little waste pack. So all that's left is, if you've enjoyed this video and you got anything out of it, Please go down below and click on the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click on the notification bell next to it and select all. And click the thumbs up button, the like button. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun and take care.